Hello, YouTubes. I'm Grimwit. This wonderfully created game is Sense, a cyberpunk ghost story. Uh, we've got new content that we're we're exploring. We've got a whole new floor. We're on floor five out of seven. I swear I didn't look up a walkthrough in between breaks. All right, let's jump in. It's fine. It's fine. I'm fine. <laughs> let's. I I started this and I don't want to pick on the game, but it has some problems that bother me. Let's go to the patio first. A massive halo board. Hollow board. It's hollow. That I saw from the third floor. Thanks to this chair, I can now get a close... And how close the board is, I can now cross to apartment 501? What? I mean, just a second. Let me... Try this patio right here. There's a couple of things I want to do first. The wardrobe is full of long, dead, high-end brands, such as Bellucci, Simon and Mak Makoto. There's even a Charisse. These brands were expensive as hell when they were around. Even today, if you find them in a thrift shop, they still cost thousands of y cred. R right. Photos of what I assume to be a tenant of this apartment, as they all appear to be taken in this room. Her body and face look to have changed quite a bit throughout the few years marked on the photos. I'm not sure if that's sad. A heart-shaped bed covered in pillows and fine silk sheets. There's a journal poking out from underneath the pillow. Ooh, let's read it. All of the dire entries detail expensive dinners, romantic nights with clients, and her thoughts on some of her neighbors. There are numbers written at the bottom of each page. Uh, 78638. Well, I think that's worth writing down. 78638. And, uh, we also probably know what this is going to entail as well. This is the kind of puzzle I can get behind. I like putting two and two together and getting 22. So let's see here. Uh, Fenu Greek. Uh, let's see, eight is. Where is eight? Yeah. There's eight. Dung Kwai. Uh, six is ginger. Three is, where is three? Oh, there it is. Uh, tenque. I'll just say tang. And eight is dong quai again. All right, pretty much got what we wanted from there. Not, not yet. Let me see what's this. A makeup table. It's covered in different types of blushes, lipsticks, and eyeshadow. There's even an eyeliner pencil. Even after all this time, I bet the pencil is still right. There's also seam, a seam ripper. Make a ceiling foo. Take some seam ripper. Let's take the seam ripper. This might come in handy. Make a sealing food, sure. There, I can use this food to seal a spirit within a vessel. It's locked. Maybe I can find a key somewhere? Okay. So, let's see here. 
We need Fennel Greek. We need Dung Kwai. We need Jin Jinzing. Oh, Ginger. Uh, we need Tung Kuei. Tung Kuei. And we need Dung Kwai again. Got it. There's a key and a jade bangle. Well, I got the key. Probably didn't pick up the bangle. Yes, I did. Let's take a look at that key. It's Sally's key. A small key found inside a medicine cabinet in apartment 506. All right, now that that's all done, now we can go over to apartment one, uh, 501. Wait a second, no, that was not the button I wanted. 501. Oh, good lord. I'm crossing using the sign uh, on the other side of this U-shape. Okay. Cross the hollow board. There we go. Now to climb up. This seems safe and good. Jump to patio, yes please. It said return to apartment, but this is the first time I've been here. There's a Betamax tape with this Seattle police logo on the label. Cool. A piece of paper looks stuck inside the tape. If I can find a place to pay play it, maybe I can get them out. Oh, I know a couple of places I can play that. This bed is huge, but very simple. I don't see anything of interest, though. There's a journal on the floor. It's written in Cantonese, but I should be able to understand most of it. Every entry drips with fear and low confidence. It's pretty sad. I couldn't imagine how he lived like this. Though I know what it's like to feel like you don't belong. Mm. Don't we all, sister? There's also a piece of paper with a with a writing on the back. I should hang on to this. Let me see if I can see what that writing on the back is. Oh, oh we have access to Sally's journal and Jiang's journal. Let's dig in. Sally, it's 1980. It's the 80s. Finally, all settled in my own apartment. I can't wait to start the next transformation of my life. My parents would never approve of what I want. But I'm an American girl with big dreams. Not some Kowloon housewife. I love them, but I have to be true to myself first. It's the 80s again. Some little brat came after the, the, that tall guy last night. Why would anyone do that? Sure, he's shy and lacks confidence, but he's one of the kindest men I've ever met. It's still the 80s. My first client. I was so nervous, but Madam set me up for success. He was handsome and a total gentleman. His car wasn't bad, either. He even gave me a bonus and how f uh, for how friendly I was to his business. Oh, oh no, please don't crash here. Eye candy isn't the only thing people like to pay him for. I if I keep this up my job keep up my job and continue to impress, I'll be able to start my journey in no time. Oh no. Oh no. Are we broke? Since uh since not responding. Oh, have we crashed? Uh how far back am I? Oh no. Oh no. How broke is this game right now? We were doing so good. We had new content. I was reading a journal. We didn't take extra items that we should have, like two swords would have been cool. I could have done that, but I didn't. Oh, it is very busted. Oh boy. Wow. Even Windows has had enough of this, uh, this game's shit. Um... Okay, well. Uh, 
Wow, yeah, is not responding. Close the program. Let's not check for a solution. That's a fool's game on Windows. Let's load her up again. See what we can do. All right. How far back are we? Hey, cats. Yeah, meow to you two. Let's quickly look at stuff. Just a bathroom, business cards, some information, a locked drawer. There are actually buttons. Leave. I, I'm going to pretend like I don't have that yet. Let's see. A steel kettle is on. Steel kettle is on. All right. Let's keep walking. Keep walk. We're walking. We're walking. This is an American girl with dreams. Big dreams. The Amy doll. Go into the bedroom. Yes, we do. Let's see here. This needs a key. We don't have a key. Here's some a pencil stuff and a seam ripper. Let's grab the seam ripper. Let's also grab the ceiling foo. And here's a harp shaped box with numbers on it. The numbers don't look random. Uh, there's a wardrobe. There we go. I'm really glad they included a quick save feature, which, if I remember correctly, wasn't an option before the newest update that came out. Thank you very much, devs, for giving me that. I know it kind of defeats the whole purpose of... Uh, uh, that's Ginger. Of the limited save feature, but boy, am I glad that I can save whenever I need to. Got the key in the Jade Bagel... Heading out over to, we got to move a chair in place, and then we got to climb up. And I actually like this scene right here. It's nice, it's peaceful, it gives a feeling of how big everything is. I miss this. Water is draining off of a nearby building. Was it raining? It might come in handy later. Okay, let's do another quick save. Now, while I'm here... Oh, let's finish reading Sally's journal. Okay, first client was the last time. All right. Uh, it's the 80s. Mariko gave me freestyling die job. I feel so bad about what happened to her. And the reaction from people in the area is disgusting. What the hell do they know? Plus, if they don't want their dirty laundry getting out, why even tell your hairstylist? Not everyone keeps secrets well. Who doesn't like a little gossip? Alright, next entry. It's the 80s. My birthday is next week, and I know exactly what I'm getting myself. All of my clients have been so gracious, and I've never had to do anything I didn't want to do. Sometimes I want to go a little a little extra mile for the nicer and hunkier guys. After the operation next week, I can bag even more wealthy clients. Tonight, though, drinks, w drinks with the girls and some new lingerie after I'm all healed up. Ew. It's the 80s. O-M-G. Exception! O-M-G was not a 1980s one thing. O-M-G began in the early 90s on the BBS setups. I know, I'm a nerd, but I was there. Anyway. My new babies look great. But I'm still not totally sure it's enough. I have so many thoughts. Should I have gone bigger? What about my, sh no what about my nose? There's so much I want to do. I guess I'll see what clients think of, uh, what a, the client thinks tonight. He's about to get the, a real treat. It's the 80s. Stupid Jeong. You are a good man, the kind I want for real. I just wish you weren't so afraid of me. I know I bring it on myself, but I love that he treats me like a prize to be won, not an object to show off. 
It's the 80s. Third procedure tomorrow. The struggle will be perfect. Uh, the struggle to be perfect is on... Is one only a woman can understand. Wh what? Sexist? I'll have... I'll have to eat through a straw for a few weeks. Ow. That means trimming off some of the tummy fluff will be a bit easier. You know, I kind of remember... I don't remember if you guys have ever seen... You, you guys may not... Tales from the Dark Side had an, an episode about something like this where a girl was going on for so much plastic surgery that eventually, like, by the end of the episode, she was basically a mannequin with a human head. Uh, I, I distinctly remember that scaring the hell out of me. And Tales from the Dark Side were kind of, you know... Uh, wimpy as far as scares are nowadays, but eh, I was young. It's the 80s. What is that bitch's problem? All I try to do is help her. I know what it's like to be an outsider, and I want to change everything about, uh, and to change everything about yourself. People call me a freak all the time for what I do to my body. I just want to help her achieve her goal. I get why she looks down on me, but I thought that being nice to her would make it easier for her to open up. Ugh, who cares? In a month, I'll be upgrading again, and even closer to my goal. I have to get ready for tonight's client, anyway. Ah, there are the numbers. There are the numbers written at the bottom of the page. Huh. Sure. sure. Yeah? Oh, yeah. The tape with the paper. What does that look like? Uh, SPD security. Betamax tape with Se Seattle Police Department logo on it. Security cam. October 31st, 1980. Objection! Okay, this is a eastern country. Even an eastern country in the 80s would follow the same deal where it would be day, month, uh, year. There's no way that this is the 31st, uh, the 10th day of the 31st month. Oh, boy. Oh, yeah, and a small key found in the middle loop. Yeah, I've already seen that. All right, cool. Uh, simple and clean. It's the way that you're making me feel tonight. Uh, it's hard to let it go, but I should be able to understand what of it is. Let's see. Let's go ahead and check it out. Okay, Jaeyoung, what's your deal? It's the 70s. You know, I was able to convince Miss Amemia to open her store late at night for me. I hate being a burden to her, but me going out in the day daytime causes too much trouble. I don't want to scare anyone anymore. Ah, this poor guy. Mr. Fu invited me to Suki's birthday party. I was so happy that they thought of me, but I can't possibly go in an evening uh, uh, to an event like that. Not everyone can understand. Hey, it's the 80s. A new tenant has moved in. Her name is Sally. She's so beautiful. I've never seen someone like her before, and she was even kind to, uh, kind to a thing like me. It's still the 80s. Those teenagers went too far tonight. But I hope that they don't get in too much trouble. It's not like their behavior isn't their fault. But they're young. My eyes will heal. But a, crim a criminal record could destroy their lives. Besides, it's not like I don't, like a monst don't look like a monster. Meanwhile, it's the 80s. Sally came to my apartment again tonight. I was so nervous I couldn't even open the door. I just hid behind the door so she would think I wasn't home. Pity I sh shouldn't have opened the door. <laughs> she thought it was a ghost and ran away. No, I should stop. I don't think she believed it, though. Why would she want anything to do with, with me? It's the 80s. Sally, and an Sally had another surgery, her ninth one since we met. I helped her come home and made her soup. She said she loved it, and my heart actually hurt. I love her. And even though I know she will never love me the same way, I'm happy taking care of her. Though I don't know why she gets these operations, she's always been beautiful. 
Hey, it's nearly the mid-80s. The doctor sent me a letter today. I want to tell Sally, but what could I say? It's almost the 80s. Mr. Yip has agreed to help take care of the things. The things. Despite his past, he's a good man. He even helped me pick out a good gift for Sally's birthday. But it's so special, I might wait for a different occasion. Hey, I spy a clue. Let's write this down. Tomorrow is Sally's 22nd birthday. Tomorrow will be... May... 31? Does May go to 31? I think it does. Uh, 22nd birthday, which means... Uh, she was born on the year... 1961. Sally's B-Day. I think I'll wait to give her a present. What if she rejects me? <laughs> what if she says, get out of here, kid. You got no future. I don't think I can take that kind of rejection. What if she speaks? To, what if she never speaks to me again? I could never handle that, especially now. As he, he didn't make it to the mid-80s. I heard about Fei Fei and Brian's engagement. It made me happy and... I hope to see that they can find love. Maybe this will bring Fei Fei some happiness, finally. I just hope that Fu is able to help clear away the darkness following Brian. Brain. He seems very worried about that. So, I don't know when Sally's birthday is going to come up, but now we know it. Um... Hey, Jung. You don't mind if I look at your shit, do you? A birdcage with an ornament, ornament lock. There's a large crate handle inside. Okay, well, I don't have a key for that. It looks like a class photo of one of the children who's incredibly tall for his age. He's a huge jack in a coat rack. Something bulging from the pocket has been stitched shut. Before I use the seam ripper, you know, I haven't actually taken a look at the seam ripper. What does this thing look like? Letter parts. Did I get this from his journal? Oh, here's a seam ripper. Oh, is that what that is? I used to see this in my grandma's uh, sewing kit all the time. I had no idea what this thing was. Apparently used to rip seams. Huh. Huh. So, yeah, there's a letter and a key with a feather keychain. The letter is from the hospital and references some kind of illness that this tenant must have had. I'll read the letter later for my PDA. You'll read that shit now. Hang on a second. Take a look at this feather key. Key with the keychain of the bird's feather. Let's see what happened to poor Jeon. Is it Jeon? Am I pronouncing it right? Jeon. Or is it Jeon? Mr. Huang, I regret to inform you that the test results have come in. They show that your genetic mutations caused by accelerated growth has put several strains in your heart. Oh my god, he's got gigantism. Causing a tear in the atrium wall. Unfortunately, due to the circumstances of your condition, open heart surgery is too risky at this advanced stage. I'm very sorry that we could not confirm these factors earlier. The damage done is already too far great, far too great. With a heavy heart, I recommend that you should instead live off the greatest wealth you inherited and be comfortable for the remaining years of your life. If you avoid any kind of intense physical strain or illness, and watch your diet. You should have between three to five years of a normal life. Dr. Chase Fremont. An American doctor. In Hong Kong? Hmm. So this is incidentally what killed Andre the Giant. And honestly what kills most giants. Like, um... What's that basketball star? 
I forgot what his name was. Really big guy. Very tall. Huge hands. Great at basketball, but there's no such thing as an old giant. And uh, I think he's running into this issue now, too. Another teacup. I can fill this with rice to make an offering. Rear is a bit annoying. I better turn it off. There's a laundry pole outside the window. Open the window. Huh, there's something clipped to the line. If I can find a pulley handle, I can get it, whatever it is. Well, it just so happened that this giant locked the pulley handle inside this birdcage, because... There's a sewing machine on the desk, but not much else. There's another piece of letter here. Let's add that to our list. Actually, these look like more pieces of letters. I wonder how many time, how many of these pieces of letters I need. I have four so far. All right, that's 501. I don't know why we couldn't go into 501 normally, but nah. Now that I've done all that, let's make a quick save. It's locked. I like that painting. No, oh, elevator's blocked. Can't do anything. Uh, the storage is locked. I'm sorry, that looks kind of like a UFO. Oh, okay. 503's door is just clear off. This door has been removed. Just the bathroom. The mail is piled up, but I don't think it's because of the building being abandoned. Wait a minute. <gasps> Brian Mock? There's no way. He can't be. Is this what Fu Sifu meant? Who? Is Brian Mock? I mean, he's one of the tenants. We've seen his, we've seen his name before because he's his name kind of sticks out, but... What? So is this his room? And why did I press this? Brian Mock, Brian Mock. Yeah. Or as I said, Brian Mack. Huh? I'd rather not open the fridge, but I can see some kind of tin stored on top of it. Just have to remember that's there. Another bag of rice. Fill cup. I can play the evidence tapes from Jeong's apartment here. I can also save my progress with a Betamax tape. Uh, play the evidence tape. I'm sure this will end well. Very tall man getting harassed by some teenagers. This must be Jeong. I see why they call him Lamppost. He must be over uh, 230 centimeters. Okay, that's 2.3 meters. Duh. I can do math. Shut up. Looks like Fu Sifu came and helped Jeong. And a piece of paper came. Let me guess. Another piece of the letter? Yep. Uh, you know what? Fuck, I will save. The calendar is a few dates marked... On the 23rd is marked engagement party, while the 24th is simply X'd out. That legitimately spooked me. Okay, I'll give credit where credit is due. <laughs> oh, that's, that's a cutscene. That's not a good sign. Cutscenes aren't good signs. <laughs> Stay away! Maybe 
Okay, one of these scenes is not like the other. Let's see, a silky baseball jacket with a black dragon embroidered on the back. Triads and Yakuza still wear these like uniforms, though the style has changed dramatically. Glad to see organized crime hasn't changed over a hundred years. There's a small jade dragon on the nightstand. It reminds me of something. There's also a Betamax tape. ka -ching. I now have two. The floorboards are clearly cut out with the right tool I can pick them up. I don't have the right tool. This picture of a young man with his girlfriend. I've seen other photos of the woman throughout the building. Who is she? Yes, we have, actually. Can't carry... Oh, that's a jade bagel. Okay. Well, let's see what's going on with this crazy woman. Yeah, there's a picture of her now, and we've seen this all over the... Uh, all over the hotel's place. Looks like the tin again. All right, let's keep on moving. Oh, that's why I couldn't pass, because there's a big hole in the wall. I mean, floor. A cat toy resembles a mouse. It's probably filled with catnip. Oh, heck yeah. The collapse must have come from higher up. Is Suki really what caused it? Like, maybe. Maybe not. So, okay. Okay. That's what's going on around there. So we got uh, a creepy woman who might be Brian's wife or at least fiance. I don't know if he actually got married. What's this? Oh, it's a bathroom. And we have uh, the giant's ghost, which is kind of a sad story. If I can find something big and sturdy enough to bridge the gap between the railing and the catwalk. Oh, shit. Oh, shit. All right. Let's look at every single thing over again. How about the bed? No? It's not good enough for you, huh? I see how it is. Oh, I have a feather key. Huh. What is this crank doing here? I guess I should take it. Oh. Shredded paper. Pieces of paper match up with the others I found. Maybe I should try to piece them together as a note. Wonder where I'd do that. Well, one thing at a time. Something clipped to the line if I can use a pulley handle. Hey, I just happened to do. To to get one just a second ago. There, no, reel it in. It's just an envelope with more pieces of ripped paper inside. Maybe it's part of a letter. How many pieces do I got so far? Twelve. How many pieces do I need? Also, I need to just start... Walking and pressing the A button constantly. Better turn the radio on. Okay, I thought I heard something from that direction. I guess not. Elevators not working. Chewing gum not in style. Oh, wait. How about this big-ass door? I could use this door to bridge the hollow board. Yeah, let me just put it in my... Bra. Yes. Radio still on? 
Hey, it still is. Some variables were easy to program. Okay. I mean, it's not really intimidating. It's just a moving bed. There we go. There's a doorway. Now I can get back to the other side of the building. Like, that's the thing, right? You've got a ghost, and the ghost just moves like a chair or opens a door, and it's just like, oh, th thank you, ghost, for opening the door or moving the chair. I mean, I'm not really scared. I don't know if that's what you were trying to do, but you, you've certainly opened that door or moved that chair. Hey, look, it's a bed. It's just sort of sliding. Yeah. Yeah, it's, it's great. Hey, Meats. I'm just trying to show you something under the bed. Oh. Oh, I gotta go back. You might be right. That's actually a pretty good idea. All right, Jiang. What were you trying to show me? Oh, holy shit, you were right, Meats. There's a small box with a combination lock on the floor. There's also a pry tool. Well, let's take the pry tool. Let's open the box. <sighs> There's no way in hell that the box number isn't... 5... 3... 1... Oh. Five, three, one, sixty-one. Yep, there's a note and a bracelet. The note seems to be from Yip Wong Hong. He must have been someone very involved in people's lives here. Now let's read the note first. Lamp post. Lock boxes aren't safe, even in the hands of people you trust. I've already given them a money, ah, given the money and matched your donation to the orphanage on your behalf. Yeah, Jung seems like a pretty stand-up guy. The children should shouldn't have to wait to lose you to get to the, their second chance. Oh, they shouldn't have to, huh? Take bracelet. Let's take a look at this bracelet. It's a gold bracelet. It's a beautiful bracelet with a heart-shaped charm attached. There's also a small pry tool. It's not big enough for anything extreme, though. Thanks for pointing that out, Meats. I would have run by that and gotten frustrated again, because, boy, have I been doing that a lot tonight. One day I will take that steel kettle. I don't know when or why, but I'll take it. Alright, let's go this way now. Uh, just a second, kitties. I want to check something. Okay, I've never been to this side of the hole. Oh my goodness. The door doesn't seem to be open. The doorknob feels broken. Wouldn't be a survival horror without that. Huh. I don't think Suki actually caused it, except maybe by shaking the building a little bit. Although, she didn't seem like that angry a ghost. Alright, kitties. Meow. Meow. Meoweth. Morale. Meow. Mouse. They're fair cats. Don't think I'm too careful to upset them. Let's distract the cats with a toy mouse. Better safe than sorry. Oh, they really hate that mouse. 
All right, let's enter the door. <laughs> the end table has a few books on it about caring for cats. There also seems to be bird bones. Is that how these cats have stayed alive so long? Any of y'all played the cat lady? The fridge has some new photos on it held up by colorful magnets. One of the notes is written in a restaurant receipt. It says, had an amazing night. Let's go out again soon. Carol. The date says, it's the 80s. There's also a photo of a couple of at some kind of festival. They look a bit awkward, but it seems like a nice, a nice couple. Oh, nice enough. The stove is still working? The stove is still working. The table is covered in mail, long petrified cat food and dust. I suppose my allergies to cat isn't the worst thing I've dealt with tonight. Alright, that's adorable. If that's a picture, like if that's a painting, I'm very impressed because it looks like a photo. A cat climber. Something, something shiny inside the box top, but there's also a pretty angry looking cat. I don't want to risk getting attacked. I need to get the cat out of there first. I think this person may have had something for felines. Oh, come on, how can you be angry with so many cute kittens around here? There's a journal under the bed. I'm gonna steal it. Most of the entries are about pe persons, relationships, and neighbors. After August of 1983, all the pages of the word accident scribbled repeatedly. Odd. Two of the pages are glued together. There's something clearly hidden between them. Maybe I can see Steam the pages apart. Mm. A nicely bound journal or diary. Two of the center pages have been glued, concealing something. Oh, good. Maddie Mao. Basically, Maddie Cat. His diary. Or Maddie Meow's. Yeah, I got us some time. Let's see here. All right. Wow. Okay, let's get into Maddie's head. My name is Maddie. I don't care what Dad says anymore. This is who I want to be. Holy shit, she's starting off strong. It's the 80s. My neighbor is the worst. She walks around practically naked. Showing the world her ridiculous looks. Like that's all that matters. Some men prefer more than a blow-up doll. Ugh. What a whore. It's the 80s. That bitch downstairs got what she deserved. Faye and I agree. Faye Faye is such a classic woman. Elegant and beautiful, but strong. I wish I could be that kind of woman. Meanwhile, in the 80s, I met a man today. He is so kind and warm to me. I can't believe it finally happened. He gave me a saucer of milk. It was great. It's the 80s. Harold and I went on our first real date tonight. Sure, we have spent some time together before, but this was a real date. Later in the 80s, that dumb slut next door saw that I have a man now and won't just buzz off. She saw the way Harold stared at her and immediately came over to give him give me tips on feminine beauty. I mean, it was nice of her to give me the makeup and su supplements, but she's still a dirty bitch. Later in the 80s, our first Valentine. I finally told Harold the truth and he didn't care. He even said he knew the whole time. Harold is the man of my dreams. 
My man, I can't believe I finally, I, I can finally say this. I'm finally so happy. I guess I should apologize to Sally. She, she has been really supportive with her beauty and fashion chips, tip tips, but Fei Fei is getting more cold now that she has a man. Brian's cute, but he's bad news. And the 80s. Harold got mad again tonight. Some people would accuse him of being a monster, but he's my Harold. It's not their relationship. What do they know about anything? He loves me. He jingles keys above my nose and lets me bat at them all night. Later in the 80s, we, we went to a, the parade together. He seems so happy to be with me. I haven't seen him this happy in weeks. I felt brave and unafraid what others thought for the first time in forever. And the 80s. Harold is, more, is even more distant lately. His work must be difficult and stressing him out. I know, his, I know his parents don't approve of our relationship either, but I hope he knows I love him and would do anything for him, even kill his parents. And later in the 80s, Harold has been getting worse. He didn't... Did he cheat on me? Is he having second thoughts? Sally said he shouldn't be hitting on me. What? What? Sally says he shouldn't be hitting... But what does she know? Wait... What does what? Men use her. Men use her left and right. What's the difference? He loves me. That's all that matters. And last thing in the eighties, he got so mad this time. I couldn't let him go. I just, I'll ask Mister Yeep what to do. He can help me. The remaining pages are just the words "accident" over and over and over again. I'm sure that ended well, though. Seems like it would end well. It's a large trunk hidden under the bed. Uh, seriously, cat? Seriously, this is what you want to do right now? She just jumped in my lap. I'm playing a game. Cat, there's something under the trunk. Oh my god. We're not going to be able to do this, cat. I. <laughs> Kiara! Can I at least get a purr out of you for the audience? No. She's being. She's being economic with her purrs. Hey, I got a little bit. Of, let's see if I can get her to purr into the mic. There we go. It fits with the cat noises, too. It's like she knew. All right, cat. <laughs> she heard you talking about all that cat stuff. This, daddy's got to record. Daddy can't have you glued to his side the entire, th I can't pet you and use the controller at the same time. Why can't you understand? Oh my God, you're so cute sometimes. All right, you just stay there. Just stay there. She's perched on the side of my chair. I have no idea how she's glued there. My claws are probably involved. All right, there's a large trunk hidden under the sheets. You're going to bite me, aren't you? Because I'm not paying attention to you. Oh, off she goes. Good. <laughs> the trunk is covered in some kind of tape. Maybe you can find something to cut it with? What, like shears? You know I have shears, right? I have shears. I have freaking hair shears. You don't... This. I have a pry tool. I've got shears. I've got an ornament pin. All of these things can be... I got a sword. I got a sword! <laughs> The cat toy here might be useful as a distraction. The window is covered in newspaper. All of the visible articles reference the same thing. Local man Harameda Mata missing since August 4th. Uh oh. All the articles I can read say several weeks, and all the papers seem to be dated in the mid August of 1983. Uh, accidents happened. Oh, oh, I love the ha don't uh, hang in there poster that just says don't die. Huh? 
There are massive scratches all over the walls. At this point, asking what made these feels dumb. The sink is full of dirty cups, and the mirror looks like a medicine cabinet. The cabinet is filled with prescription bottles. There's also a chart of herbal supplements for feminine beauty. Okay, this, this is Sally's doing. The toilet lid is slightly lifted by something in the tank. Remove the lid. A knife blade wrapped in plastic covered in dried blood. Take the knife blade. This, this can't possibly go wrong. Okay, I have two, bang two bagels already, so the shower walls are smeared with something. Blood? Yeah, let's get out of here. I have a bad feeling about this trunk. Okay. What? The blade isn't for cutting? I have so many things that will cut this tape. Why won't you let me cut this tape? Before I use this, what kind of distraction cat toy is this? Okay, here's a bloody knife blade. The handle is... Oh, God. I need the handle or something. Here's a cat toy. It's an old-fashioned stick and string toy. Kiara's got one of these, too. It's wrapped up. It's one of her favorite things, but she only plays with it for one minute. 60 seconds. That's all I get when I play with her. Meow yourself. All right. Use cat toy. There we go. Now let's look inside. It's a knife handle. Combine knife and handle blade. There we go. The blade matches the handle even down to the blood stains. Why am I doing this? Use knife. God knows I can't use the blade. It's got to be the handle in the blade so the cat toy is important. Odd smell has started coming from the trunk. Open the trunk. Hey, I found Harold. Oh, God. The body, beyond the decay of decay and rot, is clearly dismem it was clearly dismembered first. It looks like a man, so it isn't the tenant who lived in this apartment. Who is it, then? Um... I need to figure out how to stop that spirit. Hi! You just go there. Whoa, go on. bye. Stop it. Stop it. <laughs> okay. That was a thing. That's a hell of a thing. Oh, shit! <laughs> Stay. Good kitty. Stay. Okay, I think she stayed. Alright, that's not quite an hour, but I think this is a good spot to... Yeah, this is a good spot to take a break. <laughs> Well, things got a lot more interesting after I got past the third floor. Fourth floor. Fourth floor. After I got past the fourth floor, things finally picked up. All right. And I haven't needed a walkthrough in a while. Good. Good. Let's go ahead and take a break here. All right. Yeah! Stuff. Not quite the... Hmm. It's getting better. It's getting more... More than tolerable. It's actually getting better as I move on. But, like... The puzzles range anywhere from That's impossible, how was I supposed to know that? To... 
gee, I wonder if this knife will cut the tape. And, yeah. Hmm. All right. Well, I'll see you later, YouTubes.